so, so his his goal yeah. with all of this, his goal is to defeat Joe Biden and elect Donald Trump. He not only said this nonsense uh, about how Biden somehow is a greater threat to democracy than, than the guy who spoke on, at the Ellipse on January 6th, right before the riot at the Capitol. He also said about election denialism. He did that on purpose. He wants to normalize the election denialism of Trump, normalize the guy who said he wants to be a dictator and, and terminate the Constitution, normalize all of that on Trump while attacking Biden. You said you you essentially see Trump and Biden as the same, different different issues. But do you really believe that when people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is, is, is an equal yeah, evil I mean, to I, Biden? I, I mean, listen, I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. And the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech. He started censoring not just me. 37 hours after he took the oath of office, he was censoring me. No president in the country has ever done that. The greatest threat and democracy is not somebody who questions election returns, but a president of the United States who used the power of his office to force the social media companies, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to open a portal and give access to that portal to the FBI, to the CIA, to the IRS, to CISA, to NIH, to censor his political critics. You know, it wasn't Biden doing the censoring, although the Biden administration for, for sure was asking social media companies to cut down on misinformation about the virus. Um, and he was, uh, Kennedy Jr., was suspended from Instagram for, quote, repeatedly sharing debunked claims about the coronavirus or vaccines. His politics writ large are, are really complicated on a whole number of issues. That's why I think he presents a threat to the political establishment on both sides, mm -hmm. because it's sort of hard to put him in a box when it comes to a host of policy matters. Sometimes he sounds MAGA. Sometimes he sounds far left yeah. on issues of climate change, for instance. Okay. You have both sides um, using scare tactics. Republicans say that if Joe Biden gets in, it's going to be the end of the Republic uh, uh, Democrats say if Donald Trump gets in, it's going to be the end of democracy. And I don't think either of them are actually going to destroy democracy. There's, we have institutions in this country that are pretty enduring. But the real issue, things that we need to do to save our country, they can't do them. And if you vote for President Trump or President Biden, they both had their chance. You're going to get more of the same. If any, If somebody needs... If somebody actually wants change, wants to actually alter those issues, they're going to vote for me.